Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Heike and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, unfair it is. And we got the western uh, side, we got uh, go down, we got the warehouse, I think that's where we came from. So I believe we would want to go to here, the western side, but there was still something left over here the last time we checked. Firestar Dakotas. And just for your info, my aspirations we have given a second humanity. sniper rifle. The world will bow. But this time to Iridia. So that she has something to do. She's, she's not very good with the sniper rifle. But I suppose she's better than nothing. Uh, in the meantime, Saiken takes out the cultists. And we are taking this as a nice little invitation. For everyone in this group to move up and attack. Frontline goes uh, forward, uh, Argentia, well we're on the staircase so uh, she's really better off if she's also in the front line. Sniper, sniper and you're sort of midfield so let's start the battle. Um, toughness and willpower. Well, <laughs> I should have actually uh, put her way more to the front because then I could have just screamed her lungs out. Be careful not to cross my gaze. But I suppose it is what it is now. Isn't this a job for the serfs? <laughs> Little stare into very nice bits of damage. We are I'm afraid not. I'm going to give Pascal here not a servitor. That is the first buff. And Abelard gets an overall stat buff. There we go. Got you. Pascal. See we have this beautiful AoE marking. Which I think was a good investment. But before we're doing this... Let's go there. Um, everybody is marked indeed. You guys are marked even more. Fire starting cultist and... There you go, 20 points of damage. Pascal is good. Very solid. Follow my lead. Good, hit both of them. Good shot, Abelard. Uh, Abelard is, of course, what I meant to say. Everybody here is imminent. attacks him, and he's just doing this. Endure. At your back and call. Embrace for impact. Uh, Argenta is taking too much damage. Oh wow, she's taken so much damage that she's again taken a wound. Self-sacrificing cultists. I beg your pardon. Now that would hurt our friends. Yeah, that's better. I'm not so sure. Okay, with a sniper rifle, just out of curiosity, we're still at a pretty decent amount of hit chance. 
Let's just not provoke the demons, shall what we? What is this foreboding? 24 points of damage is good. I like it. Anything is. And look at that. Just one spell and we'll add Veil Degregation 7. Crazy, isn't it? down no guidance i will not stoop to this the ruin blood soaked tribute fabulous so i can continuously gets the job done which i appreciate Others a lot guides me good we need to heal ourselves unfortunately we got another you. wound crippled arm which is really bad for her Make sure that you're good. We're moving all the way up to here. Isn't this a job for the Nice little list there. I like that. And if I may. Argenta gets some more healing there. Fantastic. Pascal is becoming very, very good in what he is doing. Debuffing, buffing, and all of that is fine. Very good. Avalard, I think we need some more help over here. My place is at the fall. Charges. And he gets that guy into I will do my severely damaged state. And whilst we're at it, you two attack Abelard. There we go. Yep. Abelard is easily avoiding all of that and starts slashing the enemies. I like it. Um... I like it. But Good shot. Anything else? Whispers guide my hand. One squatter satisfying to One. Rise. Two. Purpose. Three. <laughs> I will triumph. Move it up. Oh, that was a miss. Unfortunate. Well, I reject the very idea. We can still force him to move closer to us. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Faith without deeds is worthless. Good hits. Fantastic hits. As Let's try this commands, again. I act. I'll do it. Ah, her single target damage is ass. I don't know. If only that were possible. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Do not dare ask. Me? 
If you insist, Lord Captain. All right, Pasco. Moves to here. Does this. And you, my dude. The Messiah knows all, comprehends all. Of course, misses a 95% shot. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Yep, Abelard gives him a hard time. This guy seems to be kind of a leader, a cultist. Good, we're just making the backline snipers Through because chaos, I realized I stride. that that's the best way to go about it. Yet another missed shot. I have read tomes of military tactics. Advancing. My vow is to serve. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Fantastic. Very good. Well, easy battle with the exception of uh, Sister of Battle being just too far in the front line. I need to just simply learn that that is not going to work Let's at the moment. Not the with her build and not with uh, just what she's doing. It's unfortunate. Medium armor. Uh, we already got a chainmail, never mind. Powers unseen uncover my. Yeah, power. that's unfortunate. Uh, she's not working out so far at, at the moment. The bolters are alright, but. Um, it's just not as as satisfying and as much of a damage as, for instance, um, a sniper would do. What deeds await us? Duty prevails. And it might be due to the weapons because snipers seem very very strong at the moment. But maybe we've just not found a really good bolter. The one that we're using is, yeah, sort of okay. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, so. Yeah, there are still a couple of goods here. Seize the opportunity. It would be inappropriate to leave them behind. What advice do you seek? A nice little stroll. We got ourselves a nice bolter here and a helm of determination. Wera gets extra armor. Okay, that seems very, very good. I tread a path unexplored. All right, so listen, we got a new bolter. 9 to 14, Unfading Valor, and that's just the same Bolter. I guess what's good with Unfading uh, Valor is it has four shots. Mm. Mm, but the rate of fire isn't that great either. That's a bit of a problem. 
I find it also funny that the Sisters of Valor are carrying uh, Storm Borgers in two hands and a Space Marine that's kind of the absolute least, the mini mini weapon. They carry it in one hand with absolute ease. Alright. So, Iconoclast. Uh, let's see, who uh, is the most Iconoclast character? I think we got a winner here uh, with a good old Abelard. And Abelard, where I get extra armor, how much more would we get? Oh, that's noticeable. It's a cool helmet. The helmet also grants a bonus to fellowship equal to the iconoclast rank. And we have another armor helmet, which uh, might be good for you. More armor isn't bad, since our tech priest tends to be sort of at the front line, and I don't want it to easily die. And that three logic goggle is nice, but no one else could really use it. All right, off we go to the western side. Uh, yeah, our bolters, as I was saying, are not very good. We need to find something a little with a little bit more oomph and a higher fire rate. My biggest uh, problem with bolters is uh, it's inaccurate, and I'm, I'm wondering because uh, okay. Ballistic skill is now minus 20, I get it, but uh, even with a higher ballistic skill, she isn't really hitting that well. Now, that's a bit of a problem for me. Maybe her perception is too low. Yeah, we need to w uh, work on that one. She's generally not hitting well enough. By the way, highly interesting. It's highly interesting uh, to see just how how far that uh, whole complex here is going. Never doubt me. Nothing escapes my Are you kidding me? I better myself through my service. The Emperor favors me today. Duty prevails. Okay, these goods better be good. I better myself through my service. Because boy, boy, six traps just to get to them. Intriguing. My horseback has detected something. Alright, we're getting to that loot in a second. It seems like everybody here is dead. Use the mechanical door to go to the lower levels. That might be uh, something we could use to our advantage. The world but before we're doing it, there is loot feet. over here. Ah, right there, okay. Ancient Terra Monocle. Where I get Lore Imperium test, depending on fellowship uh, ship instead of uh, intelligence. Yeah, well, that's not really good. But it's a cool I monocle. Tread a path unexplored. Good. And let's Reaching test this one here and go in. Okay, so we went quite literally back into where we've been before. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is.
You've got time to prepare a warm welcome. Okay. Well, this is just uh, Let's past see information see that huge ritual here uh, seemed to have uh, just been possible. Because of us being late, the rebels have performed that blasphemous ritual. The world will bow. Good. Okay, so we could have <clears throat> skipped that middle section by just going through that ritual. By, by far, the, ri the ritual had been the most difficult fight that we've been going through. So I think uh, mm, it's fair that it connects all of the different areas. I didn't know that there was a western section. Elsewise, of course, it would have been an option. But the completionist in me anyways wants to play through the fights. I don't mind fighting a couple of times good cool so listen uh, I got a couple of uh, thoughts here um, for starters I am wondering how often do I need to I'm restless. put uh, things here in uh, into order anyways my thoughts I think there is still some sort of ritual going on be very surprised to hear that everything has been clean. Second uh, thought that I had was why exactly can't you remove wounds in a different fashion? Anyways, some ten people, children amongst them, are huddled together in fear. You see half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Some maintain a gloomy silence. Others are waiting. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then. LLD citizen says, come to your senses, Arild. Look what you've done to your own family. Are all these people your family? All of my adopted and blood children are here. I raised them all as my own and now I must protect them, help them see. Cassia says his mind and soul are pierced by shards of colorful deception. Hues and twisted in despair of the immaterium influences can never be the same again. That is true. To cast your own children into a thrall of heresy, to down your progeny in a filth with your own hands. What are you trying to save them from and who is behind all of this? At Aurora's behest, Aurora is a great prophet and a great warrior. The face shrouded, but the gaze and pierced the veil of time and sees into the future. I always knew the governor's dogs were hiding the truth from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the old trope. Those up there. Um... Who are you and what are you doing with these own unfortunates? Uh, I'm the chief. My former name, Aril, is meaningless now. I'm a father leading his family to deliverance from woes to salvation. I don't believe that. Logic. You've been torturing your own family in order to save them. You've been blinding them so that you can see the truth. Those who lack faith uh, grasp the truth and will not be saved, he says. All right, um, think about it. What good has the final dawn done to anyone at all? Some have died, some have had their eyes burned out, some have gone insane. But, they said, the end was near, they promised salvation. I wanted nothing else. All right. Dogmatic. Your family will be taken care of. I condemn you to death. Very nice. That's how it's done. As a dogmatic follower of the Emperor, you do not dare to speak uh, to a rogue trader like that. And whilst we're speaking about not daring anything, I dare to level up. Very much so. 
Um, okay, let me check what I want. All right, I think um, I'm torn between this arm, which is really good against bigger targets and defensive stands. I think we're just going to go with this arm. When we attack an enemy, then we get uh, an armor against that enemy. That sounds very, very good. Um, and I think we also need weapon skill just so that we can uh, continue hitting properly. So that's fine. I like that. Both of it is good. Very good. Strength also is important uh, because we want that sweet, sweet, super heavy armor. All right, in terms of uh, things that our tech priest needs, uh, could, uh, did we, uh, were we able to use uh, Medica, uh, Medicai? I think we were not. Were we able to use Medicai? I think we were not, and thus we're getting Medicai. And ballistic skill. There we go. Let's check something. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. We finally can use med kits. That's so important. So, got med kits here and here and here. And our backline can also use some med kits. That's not bad. All right. Now, uh, let's go with a soldier. I need something that really amps up her ballistic skill. I think we're going for integrity. I pre-marked it. While it full wounds, the soldier has plus 10 ballistic uh, skill. That is good because it means we're hitting better. And uh, we're also investing into perception uh, to mainly reduce the dodge chance of uh, the enemy. Agility isn't bad either. I like that a lot. But I think the perception does um, reduce enemy's dodge chance. That's important. And agility initiative own dodge chance uh, dodge in melee and demolition well, i mean agility isn't bad either because she's a demolition expert but i think it's all about hitting now okay Good, let's just double check the features that we've gotten. Um, where is it? Integrity. 10 ballistic skill. Uh, do we get that from integrity? Yeah, plus 10. That's fine. Yeah, we would be at 55, which is actually quite good if we wouldn't have a completely mauled arm and with our um, with our navigator I am thinking about going carouse the other option is uh, continuing to go into awareness which no one else has that high Hmm. Awareness is important. I like that. But Carouse uh, is very, very important as well. Specifically the negative effects, Psi effects. No, I think Psi effects are done with willpower. But still, poison and so on. And her Carouse isn't particularly good, so let's get that uh, up and we're continuing with willpower as well very good we got awareness maxed here 
We got Medikai, which is great. I mean, you could always argue that you want to improve that. She's not the tech user, nor is she logic, nor is she any of the lore. Uh, so might as well just continue with getting more Medikai so that she's actually healing better. Um, I know, completely strange concept. Perception wouldn't be too bad. I mean, we got willpower, right? Um, we could give her a ballistic skill so that she could shoot a little bit better. I think that's not a bad idea. Or just generally perception. Because perception also reduces enemies' dodge chance. And it increases awareness. So it's kind of a double whammy in that regard. She still sucks at shooting, but I foresee a future where she does not need to be afraid to use her powers all the time. Um, and then finally, Saiken. Why can't we just get that sweet, sweet Psy rating? Character level not high enough. That's why, my dude. That's why. Alright, I pondered a little bit and I think I go for Wreck and Rune. It uh, says after the soldier deals damage to three different enemies, um, which can be psychic damage. The soldier gains um, 10 uh, plus 2 times ballistic uh, skill bonus percent more damage for the next attack in current combat. So, in a sense, if we do an AoE Psychic attack, then the next AoE Psychic attack will be even crazier. So, for me, that sounds like a win-win situation, to be entirely honest. Um, and in terms of further skilling, I think we're going for Int as well. Um, mentioned that I wanted to just use um, the Int bonus in this archetype as much as possible so that we get all of the lore, uh, Medikai persuasion, uh, basically anything uh, anything uh, leveled up. So that's too good to pass on that. Which now, of course, with his current sniper, isn't uh, the, the skill isn't as good, but I foresee that he can use some more AOE skills in the future as well. Uh, pretty sure we that he can. With us. Searching is my observance. Good, we got another bold pistol. Uh, yeah, new. No, not great. And a couple of grenades. I think we're still taking that and what we're going to do is... A bold pistol sounds like something that you would take into melee in order to still shoot and grenades is something that we should always have as a backup plan all right let me cure the wounds real quick and i'll be back in a second all right we're back this time Let's without wounds it's a bit tedious to always go back to the ship in this mission but i hate wounds and so should you they're not good they're a problem. Specifically if they I befall our off. problematic I characters that already not deal that much damage. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong with a soldier. So with um, our sister of battle in particular. She's Powers such a cool character. I want, would want to continue power. with her. But the soldier is just not good. Good, we're going to the command center. Let's hopefully find the governor and end this spooky, spooky mission. Embrace true power. <sighs> They're scrabbling around, digging into my skull from the inside. <sighs> It's like nails dragging down these metal walls. 
I have conducted a visual survey of the locale. The bunker's metal cladding. The cogiator looks a lot older and more worn than the ones next to it. However, it has evidently been well taken care of. Numerous parts have been replaced. The single key is jammed and fresh uh, seals with prayers of the Omnissiah adorn its surface. One of the sides of the panels has been removed. Uh, bundles of gold notch cables run from inside to a small data crypt where it was connected. All right. Well, nothing in particular there. I thought we might be getting some Let's insights. Let's the opportunity. But we got the governor here with a lot of tech priests. Faisal recap up Medini Af Coronos, governor of the star system. Welcome to my temporary headquarters, is what he is saying. The man's gaze falls on Abelard, his eyes uh, slightly narrow. Viserion? Governor Medina, my greetings, Abelard says. Uh, Lady Navigator, what an honor. I've never thought that House or Orselio would grace our world with a visit. I only wish I could have received it under different circumstances. Cassia goes like Horse Oselio is grateful for your support that you have provided to your uh, five these many years. Uh, the governor, I'm not seeing the convoy I uh, sent to meet you. What happened? Did they fail to find an escort? If so, I promise their punishment will be swift and severe. Well, the convoy was ambushed and massacred. That is an outrage. I have uh, will have the personal vetting procedure changed immediately. He, he talks like he has any uh, influence about what's going on on the streets. These 15 people here are not going to uh, get the revolt down. Your Lordship, before we proceed with discussing the matters that you're interested in, there is a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was the head of House Valencius. I have received no word of her demise. How is it that you are now the rogue trader? Okay. Um... My seen predecessor, unfortunately, was killed by cultists, and the governor says, Rogue trader Van Valencia slain unthinkable. Please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your lordship. I do not hesitate to let me know if I may, may be, I need to be of help. Um, well, I need a fresh crew to replace those killed in the attack, and I need material compensation. Of course, your lordship, you will be compensated for any loss, and I'll see personally that your ship holds and are filled with the finest goods from my personal reserve. Uh, Abelard is like excellent, your lordship. A rogue trader has no use for leniency. Alright, I can offer you uh, several thousands fine obedient servant, however, I'm set to inform you uh, I won't be able to do it until you have dealt with the insurgency on the planet. I'm sure you won't have to wait long. The rebel will soon be duly punished. Um, well, uh, first of all, let's uh, say that Sergeant Mulgar uh, has defended the starport well. Sergeant uh, has mani uh, who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration. Well, that's good. Um, my kinsman, Kunrad Vogtvir von Valencius, has betrayed our dynasty. If he's hiding in the system, I want him handed over to me. And Governor says, Vogtvir is a traitor. Why? Any fam family, however noble, has unworthy skine or two. Naturally, we will surrender him if we find him. Well, that's good. Uh, Heinrich from Kallox, an interrogator. Uh, do you know where he is? I do. Master Van Kallox has left uh, the hallowed Electridium Cannabium. It's an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I do not know what his objective was. Needless to say, insurgent activity has been observed in the monastery uh, vicinity. But I suppose uh, that too petty of a problem for an agent of a most holy inquisition. Besides, I've already sent a small detachment of reinforcements there. All right, uh, investigate the Adeptus Mechanicus Monastery on Rig Minor. On behalf of the priesthood of Mars, 
uh, Magos Hanuman. I'm officially initiating my participation in the operation. I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself that it is under zero risk in falling into heretic hands. According to the um, Catechism of Maintenance and Operation, my tech comrades were supposed to lock the monastery gates and lay fall and activate the traps. I deem it um, optimal that an ordained Magos uh, should provide his or assistance. Um, Governor says, I categorically object. As much as I respect the sanctity of your monastery, I have my hands uh, with a whole capital that needs to be attained. We've lost many tech priests. Incidentally, one of them perished the same monastery. Uh, mechanical failure secure at any moment. Putting it bluntly, you may consider yourself uh, forcibly recruited into the city um, um, into the city forces. This Magos is part of my uh, retinue. You have no right to give him orders. Uh, the governor says you mistake me for a fool. I know that he has arrived separately from you and I would be bet my life that no... Uh oh. <laughs> governor says so this is your negotiation tactic you have resorted to. Do you think this is the first time I've been threatened with a weapon? No, but this could be your last. I'm heading to the monastery because I must. Is that clear? Uh, and the governor says abundantly so. Magos. All right. As compensation for your consideration, I officially undertake uh, to accompany you to the Reka system in the role of a bodyguard and protect you at all costs uh, until your life functions to cease, but only within the limit of the Reikard system. All right, Pascal, what's so special about this relic? I've never been here before, but I presume the sacred relic of the reactor is capable of a great destruction should it fall into the heretic hands. The fury of the freed machine spirit once released in the sacred circuit will destroy everything around it. The degree of damage inflicted may render the world uninhabitable. Heresy must be purged from this blessed halls. I have no more questions. All right, Governor says, according to the reports we received, uh, Logis Abel Hanuman set off to the hallowed electrodynamic uh, Synobium a short while ago uh, before it was stormed. I'm glad to find that you are safe. Perhaps yeah, you possess information on Master Kallax. All right. Governor Media, I intend to gather function information on a person called himself Abel uh, Hanuman. I do not uh, exclude the possibility of it being an alias of my mentor, Ark Magus R. Manat. The governor said, I would have suggested that you inspect the Asim Logus Centrum, but it was burned down by the rebels. We've recovered several data crypts and connected. Uh, them to the cogiators at the command post, they might provide you with some information. Is there anything else I can do on this planet, or is the system why we wait for a revolt? If you like a distraction, a smaller and safer uprising to suppress you at your leisure, there is a planet called uh, Rikidia Filia. It hosts a prison colony, uh, it's an all round prestigious situation. Okay. Even uh, Evain, a winter scale, went there. He's a relative of uh, my suzerain, the great rogue trader Kalios Winterscale, uh, the master of the system and a dozen others. I imagine your long, uh, young lord uh, Winterscale is very eager to prove himself and his distinguished kinsman. I see no reason for you not to join him. It's a small planet, uh, the prisoners' numbers are few, and they have a little weapon. It's more a sport for noble lords than a rebellion. Evain, Evain, one of his distant younger offsprings, yes. That's as much as I know about him, which means he hasn't distinguished himself in any meaningful way. Evain Winterscale has made several diplomatic visits to Europe 5 on behalf of his father, 
great rare gent has never granted him the entry to someone dishonorable, which means no matter what happened on the planet, we must aid the highborn. Alright, and lastly, are you confident that we will crush the insurrection soon? My um, observation was the opposite. All right, uh, and he says, is that so? I'd like to hear your reasoning. Uh, the insurgents uh, talk about a final dawn, the Pedian demise of the world. He brushes this off. The insurgents uses the Arc enemy's artifacts to perform unholy secrecy. Um, and he says that it's not unholy. Uh, the insurgency is headed by a certain Aurora a prophet who, according to their followers, possess mythical powers. Uh, he says superstitions, blah 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 blah. Good. Then we say scores of crazy people with scores eyes are stalking the city. Uh, governor doesn't care. Uh, the insurgent managed to steal a vox caster. They've been listening to your people's communication. Yeah, you ought to leave your bunker more often, Governor. I have only recently arrived in the system and I already know much more about the uprising than you do. Governor says, Your Lordship, I know who you are. I've had uh, heard about your exploits. And I will not allow a stranger, let alone uh, another rogue creator, to speak to me in such manner and make demands on subject of his uh, lordship Caligo's winter scale. The matter is closed. Let us no more speak of that. <laughs> Intriguing. The governor is, as always, a prick, but so are 99% of all people in power in the Warhammer universe. We want to be that exception that is not seen as weak, but a um, calm-handed, well-guided leader. That's what we strive to be. Uh, we had another one here. Adeptus Arcolite. Oh, there we go. Quartz Crane. Is he saying anything? Oh, look at you! We can finally trade, eh? So I understood that uh, from the loading screens that there is a bit of a profit factor. Profit factor essentially means that's as uh, rich as you need to be in order to buy something. And we have currently not done any reputation. And we have like 12. Uh, the money doesn't go away. It's just how rich you are. And at the moment we can buy multi keys and you see nothing goes away which you can just buy that um, then we got a helmet fantastic so but we need to a be much richer and b be more liked to get for instance to this big fat modified laser gun which isn't that big and that fat if i'm thinking about it but whatever uh, but the cer uh, ceramic uh, stormtrooper carapace, on the other hand, that's big fat, heavy, good armor, armor deflection, a bit of a dodge penalty, and an additional deflection against human enemies. That seems like a really, really good uh, thing. And then a metronome, if the wearer did not spend movement points during their turn. Oh, that's a good one. Well, see, you want to go to kind of level 4 of being liked. At the moment, we're at level 0. So, yeah. We got something out of it. Uh, and we got a cup. Oh, nice. So, let's trade with them 
all of our stuff here. Ah, that's how we get better. I see. Good. We can just trade with them until they have the rings fully stocked up. So they like holy grafts, heretic trophy, uh, trophies, that's good. They like ship compartments, it's fine as well. So, holy graph uh, gifts, uh, that's the good stuff. Uh, where's the heretic stuff? Ship and uh, mechanicus creation. Ship stuff. Holy grafts. Okay, I see how, uh, where this is going. We have a lot of stuff. Heretic uh, trophies. Uh, armor kits are liked as well, which is good because we have plenty of the armor kits. Good. Trading this in and we're currently at level 6. Um... Which means we good. Uh, we don't need more reputation with you guys. First aid manual. Uh, using any med kit. Uh, that is good. I don't yet know. Okay, that's potentially on someone. Uh, 10 med kits. Uh, absolutely, thank you. We got the plasma pistol out of it. Modified bolter. Uh, that looks good as well. Thank you. And we get some more grenades. And we get that metronome. Fantastic. We did. It's a start. It's a start. Uh, we're not. We're not trading anything else at the moment uh, because we are already very much liked with uh, these guys. Here's our reputation, and you can see Vaben, uh, the explorators, uh, yeah, is the tech priest, the machine cult, who like us a lot. So, gosh, we got a lot of uh, stuff, didn't we? Let's. look at the newest stuff so we got a metronome which i think uh Saiken could definitely use because it'll give him he doesn't move very often and that'll give him extra power uh cloud gas grenade sure why not and whilst we're at it uh might as well give a cloud gas grenade to a couple others and it deals toxic damage, so sure, why not? Then we do have armor. The wearer armor ignores the first critical hit. Uh, 3 plus psi rating dodge if the wearer willpower is more than 40. Uh, I tell you what, Saiken so finally found a good suit of armor. Willpower is good, and we're finally up to a decent amount of dodge. Um, yeah, that's great. Love it. Then we got a modified bolter. Uh, I was complaining and bitching about bolters. Uh, we, I think, will use this one here. Wait, what? Hmm. Ah, wait, now I understand. Okay, so it has a higher fire rate. Uh, let's give it a try. I mean, it must be good. Hopefully. Got lots of mad packs, which generally is fine. I like that. Good. The next up is first aid manual. Uh, who could use that? I think uh, being in the thickest of it, uh, our good Abelard uh, could definitely profit from it. But, 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 but. Um, you could profit just as much from it, um, Argenta, so we're going to give it to you. Then we finally have, um, when a wearer kills someone uh, with an exploit, using a single or dead eye shot, the nearest enemy immediately gets one exploit. Uh, seems like 
attack this thing to me. Seems like a tech priest thing to me. Um, and then we got this nice little plasma pistol. Uh, range is medium, that's fine. Plasma overcharge is an area attack. Hmm. I like what I'm seeing. Tech priest. You finally got your first plasma weapon. And we got a fire grenade, sure. Let's put that in there. Okay, my point is the following. We do have a couple of uh, feats on our tech priest that are plasma only. Melta, plasma weapon, that's fine. But we got overcharging protocols. Every time he uses a plasma weapon, his damage with the weapon is increased by plus 10% stacks. And he needs to shoot every single time. Uh, when he uses a plasma, he gains an AP, which is good. And I think we had another one. Dismantling attack. Pretty sure there was another plasma attack uh, so far. Uh, but we're going to find that out. Anyways, that's uh, what we got for today. Uh, we're going to uh, regroup and think about what we're going to do the next time. So far, things have been very, very good. We finally got our first trader uh, with Tech Priest Quartz Crane. And we got some dope shit. Uh, some really good weapons, so let's see how well these are doing. Thanks a lot for watching. If uh, you want to access your very own trader, um, click the like button. I promise you it opens a secret window where you can get gimmicks. Thanks a lot. Have a good one and bye-bye.